left people, the, 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 the Democrats and the people that are the big donors. When the Democrats are in office, they use the same alphabet soup to go after the, the conservatives. And so, yes, there has been left and right politicians in all these countries in South America as well as uh, South Africa. There's been extreme left and extreme right, right? Uh, and, and the same thing that's going on uh, in Europe and, and various other places. I think you have to look at survival. And if you're in Hawaii, and Chile is not that, uh, Chile has some problems and issues with it. I mean, they have a lot of earthquakes, they have volcanoes, they have some issues and things that are natural disasters. Granted, I'm predicting only 10% of the people that die in the world will die of natural disasters, but that's still 10%. That's one bullet in a tin chamber revolver playing Russian roulette. Um, I think there's uh, uh, places that you have to look at totally. If you don't think there's going to be any earth changes, et cetera, you know, that's not a problem. Uh, retiring. There are various different ways to get into some countries. Ecuador, by the way, is one of the easiest countries to get into right now that are, that's in my top five. Um, but there are countries that are more difficult. But it depends on your age. It depends on your finances. There's a lot of variables there. Paraguay is a military dictatorship. Uruguay isn't. Argentina isn't. Chile isn't. Ecuador isn't. Brazil isn't. Um, there, most of the southern parts, uh, southern countries, uh, don't have military dictatorship. But Paraguay certainly is. Most of all the countries in South America have a higher standard of living than the United States. In the United States, the vast majority of people are in debt up to their eyeballs. The country in which I live, and similar into Peru, people own their own homes. I mean, we're talking all of them. Uh, the country in which I live, less than 3% of all the homes in the whole entire country have a mortgage on them. That means when you buy a home, you pay cash for it. You pay cash for everything. The country that I live in, in, in South America, it's all cash. Um, so all those people are concerned about those economic, um, you know, from a Christian standpoint of view, people say mark of the beast or those tracking and tracing, RFID sort of things. That is not going to be the problem that it is going to be in most other countries in the world. Um, the, the people don't have a concept except the United States if you've never left the United States. Here's a good uh, example that has actually lived and was raised in another country and been to the United States. Uh, Brazil, Argentina, all these countries have pros and cons. I can't take the time to get into all of them. Uh, they all have their different economic things. The United States have almost twice the unemployment that Argentina has, okay, as an example. So the economic uh, indicators are completely different. Uh, most of these countries that are top five, top ten, uh, their economies are really moving forward. Uh, there's a lot of investment. When I bought my home, and I have a property that's like a miniature national park. I grow all my own food. I'm off the grid. I have my own water source. I mean, everything. Uh, when I bought my home 15 years ago, I was the only American in this particular area. Now there's like more than 50 Americans. Now there's more than 50 Europeans. Uh, there's a mass exodus out of the United States and Europe. I, I give the statistics. I give all the documentation. There's millions of people that are leaving, and they are going Cruise in the top 15, uh, they are going to these countries because you have a higher quality of life. You're playing Russian roulette. Um, you, you're, you're no different than somebody in, uh, uh, you know, Germany, Poland, or whatever, and you're trying to stick it out. If you want to try to stick it out, you can stick it out. But I am predicting 90% of the people living in this country today will be dead in the next 5 to 15 years. Uh, the globalists have said it. All the world's religions predict these sorts of things. It's all coming down, and if you want to stick it out, you want to fight for this country, you can. But your relatives, your ancestors left the country of their birth and came to the United States uh, to looking for a better uh, life or fleeing uh, certain death or destruction. You can't say that the people that are leaving the United States are, uh, are not intelligent or they're not doing the right thing for themselves. It's not for everybody. But go ahead. You stick it out here and you see what happens. Brazil has a different way of looking at life than Brazil is in, is in the top five for sure. But uh, these countries are richer than Americans. This is the facade that we have here. You know what's happened to the housing market. 25% of every home in the United States, people owe more on it than what they could get if they sold it today. They don't own that home. The bank does, and the bank owns their cars, and because of their credit card debt, if they sold everything they had, 
they would end up with either negative or very, very little, maybe the clothes on their back. In these other countries, everybody owns their home. They own their car. If economic things happen, nothing changes. They grow their food in their backyard. They're self-sufficient. It's not going to be as devastating as the people here in this country that will have absolutely nothing when the economic doo-doo hits the fan. You, you know, I've traveled the world over, and I've met guys that just grabbed a backpack, and they've been backpacking in different places of the world for 10 years. Uh, where there's a will, there's a way. There have been hundreds of millions. That is not hyperbole. Uh, if I use hyperbole, I use bajillions. There have been hundreds of millions of people that have fled the country of their birth since the beginning of time. They have fled Pol Pot, Idi Amin, Stalin, Hitler. They have fled. Millions of people are fleeing the United States. Millions have already left. According to Zogby poll, tens of millions are planning to leave shortly. They're already making plans. So certainly, if you don't think that you can do it, you can. People have their perception of things. Um, I am a truth seeker. I want all the information that I can possibly grab and put all these pieces of puzzle together like I talked about the jigsaw puzzle. When you start putting the pieces of the puzzle together, you're going to see the handwriting on the wall in this country, and you're going to want at least an option, whether it's nuclear war, whether it's disease and pandemics, whether it's famine, starvation, hyperinflation, economic disaster, ruthless governments, whether it's a fascist right-wing Hitler-type takeover or a communist Stalinist takeover of this country or a military dictatorship, if it's natural disasters, global climate change, whatever, there's places that you can go that's going to survive. And statistically, the, the, the stats don't lie. The, the people that have done it uh, just tell me incredible say it's the best thing they've, they've ever done. Uh, uh, the FEMA camps, uh, I mean, I'm not going to pick on uh, the United States government per se, but I think that they're prepared. I mean, I've seen, I think most people have seen the, the pictures of the millions of coffins they have ready, uh, the body bags. I mean, they're preparing for something. Um, and they create these laws uh, in order to control uh, more American people. I still believe the average American does not know that they're the frog in cold water and they think they're okay and they're now boiling. They're going to be dinner here shortly. It's boiling. They think they're in a hot tub in Vegas. They're not. Uh, the, the, the massive deception is there. As, as far as um, uh, a home, 15 years ago, you could have bought a brand new three bedroom, two bath, really nice home for probably about 20,000 US dollars where I live, okay? Uh, I live in a, 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 an expat area, a very, very first world, uh, high quality sort of area, but you can, uh, you just have no idea what it's like to uh, buy tomatoes for 10 cents a pound and come back to the United States and buy them for $2 a pound. Uh, there's a lot of variables that are going on. Now, there's inflation, there's a lot of things that are changing uh, economies and, and countries and stuff, but the quality of living and the cost of living I address big time on the website, uh, so you can look at each individual country uh, and, and what the cost of things are. Certainly, if you went to Switzerland, if you went to Norway, uh, if you went to Italy, you're going to be paying more than you do in the United States. But there are countries that uh, the cheapest viable countries, the best value for your money countries, you know, every place isn't going to be exactly the same. You will see it's not going to be equal everywhere. Um, it's just, that is just fact. You can be a Protestant, a Catholic, uh, uh, a New Ager. Uh, you can believe in anything, and nobody's going to harm you. Have you gone to the Caribbean? Have you gone to Hawaii? It's no different. You just go and you take a, a week or two vacation, investigate. It's, you do your due diligence. You go, wow, it's a country for me. And since most all the countries are very close uh, together, unless you want to go to Australia or New Zealand.